In this mini tutorial, I'll be demonstrating some strategies for you to get more out of searching Google Scholar. When we go to Google Scholar, we are basically searching for articles which are accessible uh, either through uh, university databases, which we'll only probably be able to access the abstract of, but also those that are freely available online. Now, I'm going to search, do a search to show you uh, an example of this, and I'm going to use the phrase information literacy. Now I put the phrase information literacy in inverted commas or quotation marks because I'm looking for articles which have the entire exact phrase information literacy. I'm not interested in articles that have just the word information or just the word literacy, uh, only the exact phrase and that's what these quotation marks will do for me. So if I do this search, we can see that we've got quite a number of results, 162,000 results. And some of these are PDFs that are sitting uh, out in the public uh, access, the public domain, whether they're meant to be out there in the public domain or whether someone has shared them uh, in a way that perhaps they, may, they perhaps shouldn't have, but they are accessible in the public domain. Now, I want to know if there are any of these articles are actually available through the QUT library, through the full text databases, because as a, an employee or a student or someone who's associated with QUT, I have access to more uh, full text articles than just these ones that are hyperlinked here. So to save me from having to do a second search in the QUT library, I can actually connect my library to Google Scholar. And I do that by clicking on these three horizontal lines and going down into settings. From this point, I go to library links. When I click on this, I can see that at the moment, I'm already subscribed to the National Library of Australia, but I can also type in QUT and see if I can have access to QUT's library. And there it is, full text at QUT. So if I put a tick in that box, I will now be able to uh, access those articles directly by entering in my library username and password. Now, if I want to retain these settings so that every time I come back to Google Scholar, it remembers that I also want to search QUT, I need to turn on my cookies. You're quite welcome to do this. However, if you choose not to turn on your cookies or if you are on a public library computer or a university library computer, it just means that you quickly go through this little process each time uh, before you start searching. So if I just go to save now, the search is still the same, but now I can see that articles that previously were uh, only available um, perhaps the abstract was the only one that was available. It's now available to me via full text at QUT also. And if I just go on to the next page, let's see if I can see a few more. Here are a few more examples. This is a good one, the information literacy debate. This is only available through the full text QUT database. If I hadn't connected my library uh, to Google Scholar, I would not have been able to access the full text of this particular article. So since the option is there for me, I'm going to click on this and it will take me through to the front page of QT, where I am prompted to log in. And when I log in, I am then redirected from Google Scholar directly through to the QT library database, where I can access the full text article and there it is. So that's a really handy little trick for when you're searching for resources. Now, if I just go back to Google Scholar and go back to the front page, uh, just let me double check because I didn't click on cookies. Yes, it's saved for the time being. So let's try a different search. This time, let's try information literacy and let's try um, secondary, but not primary. So I'll put a, 
a minus beside the word primary because I don't want articles about primary schools and information literacy. I'm only interested in secondary schools. So this is going to look for the exact phrase information literacy and secondary, but not primary. And let's see what our results are. Okay, we can see that there are fewer results because we're looking for secondary as well. We've added a, another word to our search, so we've narrowed our search down. And um, let's suggest that um, I can see that from this search and others that Bruce does quite a lot of work by um, uh, it, on the topic of information literacy. And I'm actually wondering if there are other articles that are basing their um, research on a similar topic or basing their, their research on Bruce's work. So if I go to Cited By, I can see that these are the 115 articles or books or papers that ha actually cite uh, the particular article that I was looking for initially. So this is a good way to deepen my search and also to get an idea of books or resources that are very popular. So for example, I can see here that this particular handbook of research on new literacies is obviously a very essential text in this area because it's been cited by 862 people. Whereas uh, other um, resources have been cited by less, uh, fewer people. Now this could be because the resource is newer or because it's a journal article and so it's going to have less citations than a book because there's less content to be shared. There's a lot of different reasons why the citations might vary, but being able to see the number of people that have uh, used that resource in their own work can help you to search more deeply into um, a particular area. So because Google Scholar is based on Google, the search strategies that we apply in Google also apply in this particular um, uh, search engine. Um, what we can also do though, is we can search within citing articles. So if we only want to know about information literacy within these articles, I can search and I can see 24 of the results cite that particular article that I began with and include the term information literacy. So you can see that it can get quite uh, specific searches just for a few clicks using Google Scholar. So hopefully that will help you in your navigations of this particular tool.